How do you evaluate success? Real success. Genesis 36 is an extensive account of Esau's achievements. He was a successful entrepreneur with a large herd of animals, extensive properties occupying a vast territory, the hill country of Seir. He married three wives and had sons and daughters. His lineage flourished with many descendants and had some great names and powerful rulers. Some will conclude that Esau had made the most of life. Was it really so? I want to draw your attention that this chapter is unfortunately the last passage in the book of Genesis talking about Esau. The remainder of the book focuses on the second son of Isaac, Jacob, and his descendants. Esau, indeed, he had a great story, but he missed something essential to be part of God's story. He chose to enjoy today, to make the most of today at the expense of tomorrow. Dear friends, are we living our lives with the sole objective of making a name for ourselves? Reputation, fame, and success are they our daily driving forces? The probability that you will leave a good record is high. However, the decisive question is, are we part of God's story, of God's plan? This life is short with a lot of surprises. Are you part of something more permanent and lasting? I invite you to pay attention to these words of Jesus. What good is it for someone to gain the whole world and yet forfeit their soul? Think of success. Aspire for lasting success. Read Genesis 36 and grow daily.